What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. So I'm in the hospital right now, we just finished our morning clinical activity. For me, I was in the ECG clinic today, which basically involves placing 12 leads all over their body. So one on each limb, on the two wrists and on the two ankles. And then you have six leads that you place on the chest, kind of like this. One, two, three, four, five, six something like that. Anyway, it gives you an ECG reading and then you have a bit of a better understanding of the electrical activity of the heart. So the student common room, which is where I am right now, is actually on the ninth floor of this building. So we have quite a nice view. Let me show you guys. Not bad for a student common room, eh? And while I was here, I got two clinical sign-offs done as well. In our student portfolio, we have our clinical skills that we need to complete and two of them involve ECG taking. So performing and interpreting a 12 lead ECG. There was another one for operating the ECG monitor as well. So got them both signed off. That's two useful things done and out of the way. So this building is still under construction and the common room is on the ninth floor. These elevators are so sketchy. Check this out. Just listen to all the noises it makes. Nobody wants to be in this elevator. <laughs> Look at all the shaking as well. I'm not one that has an irrational fear of heights or anything, but this is scary. It's been really windy in London over the last day or two, but at least the sun is out. I mean, I'm ecstatic about this. Hey guys, Karma Medic here, and welcome back to another dose. I'm just joking. First thing to do on our list, the last thing I need to do is send a postcard to my mom because it's going to be her birthday soon. So, quickly heading to the post office to do that. All right, so that was a big success. Got everything that we needed, and it's pretty freezing right now. So, looking forward to going home, making a nice warm cup of tea, sitting down and watching an episode, and then moving on with the work that we need to do. ready to do an Instagram live. I'm gonna be unboxing my brand new vlogging camera that's come in the mail. You should definitely follow me on Instagram to see these behind the scenes type things and I hope you enjoy. All right, I'm gonna get started. We're now live. Hey guys, how's it going? For the first time ever, I'm using my brand new camera. This is the Sony RX100 Mark VII. Really, really excited to be using it and hopefully it'll make me more able to vlog and you guys will see more of these videos. Couple quick updates. I injured my finger playing basketball. Um, so yeah, it's quite painful. It's getting quite bruised and I'm trying to let it rest and not play any more sports until it hopefully heals over. Anyways, right now it's about 1.30 in the afternoon. I'm heading to university because I have two things. The first is a patient educator session. So I'm gonna be taking a full psychiatric history from a patient. These histories are different than the normal histories that we do because they're much, much longer. These histories are typically around 40 minutes as opposed to the 10 minute histories that we normally do. So there's a lot more time to get in tons of information and learn more about the patient. This is the first time that I'm doing one so I'm gonna read about it a little bit more on the train and yeah, hopefully it goes well. Anyways, I'm about to get in the train and I'll catch up with you guys when we get to campus. minute studying in not too much uh, you can do on the train with all the loud noise and everything like that as per usual arriving right on time if not one or two minutes late yeah I'm gonna rush in there do it and I'll let you know how it goes
Hey guys, so I'm in the clinical skills lab just to quickly show you we've got a couple of babies over here and then things like gloves and hand washing equipment here and then these guys that I actually haven't used before um, it looks like it's for inserting an NG tube, a nasogastric tube but I've never had to use it yet looking forward to when I have to learn about that but anyway, I just finished the psychiatric patient history taking session and it went really well um, I got some excellent, excellent feedback from the patient. They were very, very kind in opening up to me and sharing a lot of really personal details with me, which I'm sure must have been quite difficult. So I really, really appreciate that. The patient told me that I listened very well and my body language was good. I asked a lot of the right questions um, and they felt comfortable with me. So these are all very, very reassuring things to hear as a medical student and yeah, makes me makes me really happy having these patient interactions and these patient experiences you just you could never learn it from a textbook I mean the amount of information that was shared with me today I kind of just have to sit across from them take everything in you know their body language how they're talking whether they're anxious and fidgeting their hands or whether they're confident and comfortable so yeah I'm really really happy that I'm doing these uh, these sessions with these patients and it's been very valuable for me and I'm really thankful that the patients are coming here to do them as well All right guys, so the next thing on my to-do list now is to have my educational supervisor meeting, which I'm sure is gonna go just fine. It's just sort of a review of everything that you've been supposed to be doing academically over the course of the year, and also while on clinical placement, just sort of checking that you're completing all of the boxes that you need to complete, and you're not falling behind or anything like that. Campus is looking particularly beautiful at the moment. We have a lot of, oh gosh, there's a bunch of pigeons flying right over me. <laughs> I'm gonna move before the inevitable happens. Just bumped into another person on campus. Yeah, if you guys recognize me from YouTube or Instagram or anything like that, please do come say hi. I love meeting you, getting to know you a little bit more. So I've got a little bit of time to kill now before my next meeting. I've got about half an hour. So I'm just gonna sit down outside over here and do a couple of practice questions just to keep on top of, uh, of everything until my upcoming exam. So I'm gonna get to that right now. you guys see that? That's the first squirrel I've seen on Guy's campus ever. I've only ever seen them in Toronto and then in the big parks over here. I've never seen one on campus. Nice. So another one of you guys just recognized me and came up to say hi. It's honestly one of the coolest things that happens. It's lovely to put a face to some of the people who have supported my videos and me over the last couple of years. So yeah, definitely do come say hi if you ever see me around campus. All right, meeting is in three minutes, so time to get going. All right guys, finally on my way home. It is very dark outside and I'm shocked at how bright this camera is making me look right now. I'm gonna get home now and finish off a couple more hours of work. There's still a couple of things that I need to do today. And yeah, I'll see you guys another day for more of the vlog. Morning guys, it is 7 a.m. on Thursday morning and I'm about to head out of the house and go to clinical placement. We've got morning teaching today and then I'm supposed to sit in and see a couple of echocardiograms, which should be interesting. It's basically an ultrasound of the heart where you can take a look at all the different valves and make sure that they're working properly. Hospital is pretty far away, so I should definitely get going. All right, good morning guys. Another day in medical school, another day of clinical placement. Medical school has been decently tough recently. We've had uh, quite a few revision sessions from each of the blocks that we're gonna be tested on on our upcoming exams. So I've been trying to attend as many as I can and get as much information as possible from them. I've got my big puffy jacket on today because it is absolutely freezing. Don't even know how long my hands are gonna last recording this video. Since today is Thursday, I've got a brand new video on the channel. This morning, the room tour is going up. I know I get excited seeing YouTubers do that so i hope you guys are gonna enjoy the video as well anyways gonna hop on the train sleep a little listen to audiobooks a little browse my phone a little and i will see you guys on the other side Center. 
center of the hospital, which is where we have our morning teaching. And a couple of days ago, we got an email for our block of students saying that uh, a lot of the students haven't been turning up to their morning teaching or to their clinical placement. So I'm expecting a little bit of an angry message uh, in this morning's teaching, but we'll see how it goes. All right guys, so I just had lunch and I felt like pulling out the camera and talking to you about something because today was one of those days that you don't normally hear about in medical school vlogs. So basically, I showed up this morning in order to do my morning teaching and I was scheduled to go shadow somebody who was doing vascular ultrasounds, which sounded quite interesting and I was excited to learn something new and see something that I haven't done before. So I showed up to the correct department and then after speaking to the technician that was there and he spoke to his manager, they let me know that today was gonna to be too hectic and too busy to have a medical student. So I was basically turned away, which is kind of a bummer because obviously I wanted to learn that and I wanted to see it, but I also do understand that, you know, sometimes it might just not be appropriate for a medical student to be there. So I was like, okay, instead of going home or going to the library, let me see what other clinical activity I can do. So I looked around the other activities that have been scheduled for us this week, and one of them was to go to the catheter lab. So I went there to see if I could get some clinical experience in there, and of course they were shut down. Once every three months, they shut down the lab for service. So basically, yeah, after those two experiences, I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna go to the library and work on the research project that I have, and then I'll continue with clinical teaching in the afternoon. Anyways, now, as you can see, I've got a coffee, and I'm gonna head to the library here at the hospital, because from those computers, I can access patient information, and so I can carry out the research project that I'm doing. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna work on for the next couple of hours, and then I'll head home, and I have some pretty interesting plans for the evening. and it is cold. You know what, it's taken me about an hour and a half to get home today. Honestly, it sucks living far away from the hospital. You spend so much time traveling. So I'm in the hospital three days a week and three days a week I have to travel an hour and a half each way. And honestly, that is such a waste of time. Like, can you think about how much you can do in your day in three hours? I could record two videos in that time, start editing a video in that time. I could be studying. Yeah, it really sucks sometimes. I'm home. I'm home, I'm home, I'm home, I'm home. I'm excited to be home and Alexia is here. It's a good day. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Still can't believe we have such a big dog in the room. <laughs> Honestly, he takes up like the whole couch. How's it been? Did you have fun with Alexia today? Did she keep you company? All right, bye sweetie, see you later. Alright, so Alexia still got some work to do for tonight and I haven't been able to play any sports this week because of my finger so I've decided I'm gonna go for a run and then later on tonight we're going out for dinner to this really really nice restaurant so I'm excited to go and I'm gonna take you guys with me because now I have this tiny camera and I'm gonna be able to take it with me to restaurants and all kinds of things like that so I'm really excited. Anyways, I'm gonna go for a run and I will see you in just a little bit. <laughs> All right, so we just finished dinner. We're just gonna head home, get some tea, get into bed, and finish off the last episodes of the TV show The Spy on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely check it out. It's 
Hey guys, good morning. So today, at least for the morning, Alexia and I have decided to stay home and get some work done. I'm revising for my big upcoming exam on January the 7th. I've set myself up here in Noor's room. I felt like I needed a little bit of a change. I've been studying in the same places for quite a bit of time now and it starts to get monotonous. So whenever I feel like I'm getting bored of my study environment, I change it up and that way I can be more productive. So yeah, I'm gonna sit down and do a bunch of work, but first I'm gonna grab some coffee. sessions that we had for each of the blocks on our upcoming exam. So I'm going through the material from those sessions trying to make sure I really understand everything and if I can understand it that I've memorized it. I have my classic setup with my iPad and my MacBook where I have the notes that I'm going through up over here and then I'm writing down anything that I think is very important on the iPad or testing my ability to recall that knowledge. Anyways I'm gonna put you guys back in this little corner here and continue on with the study session. Alright guys, just finished a pretty productive two and a half hour session. At the same time, I was recording a study with me video using my other camera. So that's vlog and study with me inception. Anyways, I think I've had enough for the first study session of the day. I'm gonna go ahead and make some lunch and continue on with everything else.